Good afternoon. Rye Guy here. What I have here is a de-skinned 2002 uh, Polaris Sportsman 700 Twin. Uh, customer came to me uh, last week. He wanted some stuff uh, done to it for winter. It wasn't running right. Um, in fact, it was running on one cylinder. I uh, wanted the front rear diff fluids changed. Uh, the rad hose was uh, bad. In fact, there was a pipe, that pipe there that was <laughs> in line of the rad. Um, so that had not needed to be changed. You know, check the belt over, check bearings, bushings, all that kind of fun stuff. So I did quite a bit of work to it. The main amount of work that I did to it was uh, the ignition system. I ran a whole bunch of tests. Um, I ran compression tests, I ran inline spark tests, I ran spark plug tests to isolate any issues with the spark plugs. Um, I did a leak down test uh, to make sure that there's no coolant or something like that getting in at the top and fouling the plugs. What it ended up being um, is the ignition system itself, which is the, the CDI unit here. Uh, this is a stock CDI unit uh, from Polaris. It's actually made by Ducati. Um, you'd think that'd be a good brand for electronics, but in fact that is what fails um, almost 90% of the time with the Polaris 700 and 600 twin models from 2002 to 2004. So, after doing a little bit of research, uh, I found that there is a kit from Polaris you can buy for an upgrade kit. You tear at your stator, you replace your stator, you replace uh, your CDI coil, you replace this, replace that. Very expensive. Seven, eight hundred dollars Canadian, if not more. No, there's an easier way. Um, what I found was a fellow out of Quebec. Uh, he goes by the name of RM Staters. Uh, his website I'll, I'll post up here in a second. And uh, what he offers for this common ignition problem with the Sportsman 700 twins uh, is this module right here. It is a complete plug and play system. So that you have basically replaced the brain on your computer and your uh, sportsman. So instead of having a direct current from uh, your stator, from your DC uh, current going from your stator into your CDI, uh, what this does is it changes your DC to an AC signal like like the Yamaha there would have, uh, or the Kawasaki KLR would have. Um, and what it does is, like I said, it's a complete plug and play system, and it eliminates that altogether. So that you replace uh, your spark coil, your ignition coil, you replace the brain, you re it comes with the wiring harness, everything that you need, all except for this one little connector which I had to do, uh, and it's very easy, very uh, very install friendly, user friendly, trigger plug, wire, it's it's all it's all very uh, dummy proof really, uh, so even if you're not that mechanical um, mechanically inclined, this is something that you know the average Joe can do in about 45 to an hour um, you didn't need to take the plastics off the front of the bike. I did that anyway because I was working on the bike, cleaned the carburetor. I had, like I said, I had this whole thing apart. But uh, this uh, seems to be a great option. So instead of running on one cylinder, now we run on two. Simple as that. Nice, easy start up. Again, it's just a complete plug and play system. So I'm going to shut that off so I don't die of carbon monoxide poisoning because I've got the door closed. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, carbureted bikes run a little bit rich. Um, but yeah, so this is something that I thought I would share with you guys. Anybody who runs a Polaris, an older model Polaris especially, I think in 2005 they actually fixed this problem and there was no actual recall from Polaris. I checked and checked and checked and there was nothing available through Polaris other than that upgrade kit for, like, like I said, like 800 bucks. And... This is a cheap option. Canadian, this was three forty-five. dollars uh, Taxes in, shipped to the door. How can you beat that? Really. Instead of replacing your entire ignition system, one box, one module, same wires, plug and play. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope you got some information out of this. Um, something I've never come across before, but I'm glad that I did because now I know. So thanks very much, guys, and uh, we'll see you out in the next run. Um, Appreciate it. Rye guy out, guys.